Hey, third and fourth grade, welcome back to music. Today we're going to start out with one of your favorite games, Staff Survivor. So get your hand staff up quick, quick, quick. Let's practice our lines and spaces. Ready, go. Line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. Spaces, go. Space one, space two, space three, space four. Okay, so I'm going to show you a staff on the screen. And I'm gonna call out the liner space. You have to keep it correct on your hand before this dot gets to the right spot. So I'm gonna wiggle it around. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna shout out where to go and you go there. And if you get there before the black dot, you win. Okay, so keep track of your points. All right, line three, line two, space one. Line three, space three, space four, line five, space one, space zero. Okay, I hope you got a lot of points on that game. Did you know that there's also a line zero and it's down here and it um, has one small line through it. So um, let's see. Okay. Um, it has one small line through that line at the bottom, and that's called line zero. I'm going to show it to you in a scale just uh, in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and sing our scale uh, with do, re, mi, all the way up to high do. Okay, sit up tall, warm up your voice for a few seconds. Woo! Now this one is really good to warm up your voice to make sure you're using enough air. We don't do it a whole lot in school. It does sound very silly, but it's fun and it's effective for your singing. Try this. I told you it was very silly, but let your lips just relax and blow lots of air to make them move. Try. Super fun, right? Okay, uh, now let's do our scale. Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, mi, do. Try backwards. Do, te, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Okay, so now that you have that scale in your head, we're gonna read it on the staff. And like I told you, there's a line zero. Notice that the first note is on line zero, which means there's a hanging line right below the staff. So that's our do, then there's re. So go ahead and take your finger and point to the notes as we're singing along. Um, so take your finger and point to all these notes starting with do. Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so. That's your C scale. And notice all the letters on them. That's if you were to play them on an instrument, for example, the xylophone or the piano, you would play those notes to make your scale. Let's sing it one time on letter names. Point to it. Ready, go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now we're gonna make it a little bit crazier. What was the name of this first note? Do, right? Well, now we're gonna turn it into one of the things that Ms. Beckman loves the most, an avocado. Oh my goodness. All of the notes are now avocados. So we gotta sing it like this. Avocado, avocare, avocami, avocafa. Oh my gosh, so hilarious. Let's try to sing our whole avocado scale together. Uh, you can do hand signs or you can do your hand staff doing an invisible line down here, then space zero all the way up. You can point to it or you can pretend like you have some guacamole and eating avocado, whatever you want. Here we go. Point to the notes or do whatever uh, you want to do. Ready, sing. Avocado, avocare, avocami, avocafa, 
Avocado, 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 avocado. Wow, that's awesome. So today you're actually going to compose a song using those um, notes. And I want you to remember a rule about the notes today is that your, your song needs to start and end on avocado. That has to be your first note and your last note. In the middle, you can go to any other note, but it has to start and end on do, which is going to be on that line zero. So let me show you the website that you will be using to make the pattern. Okay, Miss Beckman will find it in five, four, three, two, one. Here it is. So notice you have four, four meter. There's four measures for you to fill in, which you know that are separated by bar lines. And you have quarter notes, eighth notes, and a quarter rest to use for your song. I told you that your first note has to be do. And it could be high do or low do, up to you. Let's start on a low do. Do you see that invisible line right there? That is your low do. Okay. Now I'm going to go eighth notes on re. Hmm. Now I'm going to go back to do. This Beckman's just creating this in my head. I don't have a pattern in mind. I'm just thinking of what I can create. But um, as you're going, maybe you want to make a pattern um, in your head and figure out how it would sound. Oh, and here I'm going to put a quarter rest. Let's hear how it sounds so far. You can do that by pressing play. So, so far we have do, re, re, do, so, re, mi, mi, re. Okay, pretty good. Um, what if I wanted to change something? What if I did, wanted to get rid of this note? I just click on it. I just click on it and it gets rid of it. And then I, I think I'm going to change that note to fa. Okay, next up on my next line, notice I have kind of a rhythmic pattern going. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta. Ta ta di ta, but then a rest. So it's kind of the same, but a little different. Let's mix it up for the next line. I'll put eighth notes on low do. Hmm. And then I'm going to go up to high do for the ending. And I'm going to end with a quarter rest to keep that pattern the same. Let's hear how it all sounds now. Okay, so that would be like this. Do, re, re, do, so, re, mi, mi, fa. Do, do, mi, fa, fa, la. So I made sure that my uh, song started and ended on do, and I kind of had some patterns going on with my eighth notes and quarter notes, but you can create whatever song you um, like to with th these patterns. Remember, it has to start on do and it has to end on do. Okay, great. Um, that is your assignment. I'll put the link in your Google Classroom. Again, you can um, take a picture or a video with your phone and then attach it to the um, to the assignment. If you have trouble attaching it to the assignment, let me know and I'll help you or I'll give you an alternate assignment. Um, I can't wait to hear your compositions. And one cool thing is when you make your song, how about you create a title for it? Like anything creative, like for me, that song that I just made, I'll probably call it, hmm, I want to call it Jewel of the Sky. It just sounds great to me. And I think I want that to be called that. So you get to make up whatever name you want for your composition because composers write music. So um, let's review our Rock the Beat chant. Okay, so it goes like this. Rock the beat, it's time to rock the beat. It's time to snap it down, snap it down, snap it down and go back up. Rock the beat, 
It's time to rock the beat. It's time to snap it down, snap it down, snap it down. Let's get down. Do it with me, show some spider beats. Go rock the beat. It's time to rock the beat. It's time to snap it down, snap it down, snap it down and go back up. Let's rock the beat. It's time to rock the beat. It's time to snap it down, snap it down, snap it down. Let's get down. Okay, we learned some of the motions last time, so we're about to review those and then learn the rest of them. Okay, I'm going to pause it for now and get set up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and review what we learned last time for rock the beat. We uh, did a stomp on our feet on the words rock and beat. Tie that, make sure you're standing up. Ready, go. Rock the beat. Let's do the whole thing with that go. I wish I could see you doing it. 
Maybe next week. Okay, here we go. Start with a stop. Ready and speed. Go. Rock the feet. It's time to rock the feet. It's time to snap it down, snap it down, snap it down, and go back up. Let's rock the feet. It's time to rock the feet. It's time to snap it down, snap it down, snap it down. Let's get down. Woo! That was exciting. Let's try it with our inner voice. That means no talking, just our bodies. But if you don't keep track in your head of the words, it's not going to work. So you're going to go like this. With your mouth moving, but no sound coming out, just the body percussion. Ready, go. exciting. Great job and I hope you continue to practice that. Okay students, there's just two more things I want to show you before the end of music. One of them is an optional game. This game is just for fun. If you want to play it, sure, check it out. If you don't want to play it, no worries. It's called The Game Room at the New York Philharmonic website and here they have one called a percussion showdown. So the question is, can you beat polyrhythmic? And so you're going to enter your name. I'll put Miss Beckman. Select a character. And then you're going to look for your arrows on your Chrome uh, book. And the arrows mean each one of these instruments. OK, so I'm going to try it now. OK, cool. <gasps> Okay, I practiced. So I'm going to put cowpoke because that is the beginner level. I'll see if I can beat it first. So I have to repeat the note that Polly plays and add an extra. Don't forget to add the extra. That's very important. Okay, here's round one. So I have to copy her, but I also have to put one of my own. Okay, she's going to do her next one. She played three notes. I'm going to have to add another one. Okay. I heard five notes. Okay. Last round. I win, yay! So then you can play again if you want to. Uh, you can play again if you want to, um, to see if you can get the, the higher and higher levels. Okay, well our last thing for music today is a song to celebrate um, the springtime. We are in a beautiful time of year where there's lots of flowers outside and um, there's different colors everywhere and there's a beautiful song called De Colores that celebrates the springtime and all of the flowers and the beautiful colors. So sing along if you know it and read it and learn it if you don't.
Have a great week. I miss you and I love you. See you soon.